Welcome back to Federal Uncovered. Unseen, unheard, but always on duty, the Federal Bureau of Investigation has been safeguarding the United States for more than a century. But how well do we know the organization that works relentlessly to protect us? Today, we're going to delve into the 10 most interesting and lesser known facts about the FBI. Number one, the FBI wasn't always there. Can you imagine a time when America didn't have this key institution? The FBI came into existence on July 26, 1908. That's over 100 years of untiring service. But here's a surprise. The iconic J. Edgar Hoover, who many associate as the face of the FBI, only assumed office in 1924. There was a whole 16-year period before Hoover stepped in. So the next time you think of the FBI, remember it has a rich history that predates even its most famous director. Number two, the FBI's reach is truly global, making it a unique law enforcement entity. You might be thinking, doesn't every country have its own law enforcement? Why would the FBI operate outside U.S. borders? Here's the intriguing part. The FBI has an expansive jurisdiction with no geographical boundaries. They maintain 63 legal attache offices, known as legates, in U.S. embassies worldwide. These offices coordinate with foreign security agencies gathering and sharing crucial intelligence. In today's interconnected world, the FBI's global footprint allows it to tackle threats that extend beyond our national boundaries. Number three, when you think of the FBI, you might imagine high-speed chases and tense interrogations, but did you know that the FBI employs people who break codes for a living? That's right, the FBI's cryptanalysis unit is a team of dedicated experts who crack complex codes and ciphers. It's like a real-world Da Vinci code happening every day at the FBI. Their work is crucial for solving crimes, preventing threats, and protecting national security. So the next time you think about cryptography, remember that there are real people at the FBI unraveling mysteries one code at a time. Number four, the phrase direct from the horse's mouth holds a unique meaning when it comes to the FBI. In 2020, the FBI decided to give everyone a peek into its operations with The FBI Declassified, a TV show documenting some of the Bureau's most notable cases. Think about it. Instead of watching fictionalized versions of FBI operations, you can watch the real thing. From high-stakes investigations to insights into the Bureau's workings, The FBI Declassified is a riveting watch. If you're fascinated by crime solving and law enforcement, this show is a must-watch. Number five. Have you ever watched a crime show and wondered, how do they find a match from thousands or even millions of fingerprints? Welcome to the fascinating world of the FBI's databases. The FBI maintains several comprehensive databases, each with a unique and critical function. Two of the most notable ones are the Combined DNA Index System, CODIS, and the Integrated Automated Fingerprint Identification System, IAFIS. Let's dive deeper. CODIS isn't just a vault of DNA profiles, it's a powerful investigative tool that can link seemingly unrelated crimes together, providing investigators with leads they might not have considered. CODIS can take DNA from a crime scene and search a vast database to find a match, often leading to breakthroughs in cases that had previously hit a wall. Now, let's talk about IAFIS. This system doesn't just store fingerprints, it houses the largest biometric database in the world. Think about that for a moment, the largest in the world. IAFIS can scan millions of records to find a fingerprint match in under half an hour. That's like finding a needle in a haystack, but at lightning speed. So next time you see a fingerprint match on TV, you'll know what's happening behind the scenes at the FBI. Number six, imagine a place brimming with a vast array of knowledge, a compendium of crime and law enforcement history, techniques, investigative strategies, and case studies. No, it's not a secret society or a private mansion. It's right in the heart of the FBI. The FBI library, unlike the Library of Congress, which is open to the public, is an exclusive resource meant strictly for FBI employees. It's a veritable treasure trove of over 100,000 individual works spanning every topic related to the Bureau's vast mandate. But it's not your average library. It goes far beyond rows of dusty books on shelves. This modern hub of knowledge is brimming with state-of-the-art resources for research, training, and maintaining the investigative proficiency of agents and analysts. It includes a vast collection of multimedia resources and digital archives, from training videos and instructional materials to declassified documents and historical files. And think about the people who use it, FBI agents investigating some of the most complex and challenging cases in the world. 
From trainees seeking to learn from past cases to seasoned agents researching innovative investigative approaches, the FBI library serves as an indispensable nerve center for one of the world's most esteemed investigative agencies. In essence, the FBI library is more than just a library. It's a dynamic living archive that breathes life into the history, operations, and future of the FBI. As you can see, the next time you think of a library, you might want to think beyond your local branch and consider the one inside the nerve center of America's premier investigative agency. Number seven, picture a tense hostage situation. The clock is ticking, lives hang in the balance. In these heart-stopping scenarios, who do you call? You call in the negotiators, but not just any negotiators. The FBI's Crisis Negotiation Unit, one of the key yet lesser known entities of the Bureau, Think about it this way, these highly trained professionals are like the emergency room doctors of the FBI, but instead of scalpels and stethoscopes, they wield words and psychology to save lives. These unsung heroes step in during the most high-stakes situations you can imagine, kidnappings, terrorist incidents, prison standoffs, and more. Their job is no simple task. Crisis negotiators are skilled in communication and trained in a variety of disciplines, including psychology, negotiation tactics, and even the culture and languages of the individuals they might face. It's a job that requires intelligence, empathy, patience, and an iron nerve. They've been instrumental in peacefully resolving hundreds of cases, often working around the clock to negotiate the release of hostages. They work under the mantra of time is on our side, focusing on slowing situations down to diffuse the tension, buying crucial time to negotiate a peaceful resolution, and their work doesn't end there. The Crisis Negotiation Unit is also responsible for training law enforcement officers, both domestically and internationally, sharing their expertise and experience in saving lives. So next time a high-stakes crisis comes to a peaceful end, there's a good chance the Crisis Negotiation Unit played a pivotal role behind the scenes. The next time you think of the FBI, remember that it's not all about car chases and gun battles. Sometimes the most heroic acts come not from a gun, but from a carefully chosen word. Number eight, does the phrase don't be a puppet ring any bells? No, well, let's pull the strings and reveal what lies behind the curtain. Don't Be a Puppet is the FBI's interactive website designed to educate teens about violent extremism. The website uses various interactive features to help teenagers recognize and avoid falling prey to radical ideologies that might lead to violent extremism. In a world where the internet is an integral part of young people's lives, the risk of exposure to radicalizing information is higher than ever. The FBI, recognizing this, took an innovative approach to tackle the issue head on. They used the platform that's most familiar to today's youth, the internet. Don't Be a Puppet is a tour through a series of games, quizzes, and tips that keep the audience engaged while educating them about a critical issue. The goal? To arm young people with the knowledge to recognize and resist violent extremism in all its forms. While the FBI is known for its investigative work, this effort showcases the Bureau's proactive approach to prevent crime and terrorism by addressing the issue at the source. It's a testament to how the FBI is not just about responding to crime, but also preventing it, showcasing an aspect of their work that's not often in the spotlight. A striking example of the FBI's dedication to keeping the nation safe, wouldn't you agree? Number nine, what if I told you that the FBI has a long-standing relationship with the magical world of Hollywood? Intriguing, isn't it? The FBI has been involved in assisting the film and television industry for decades, providing technical advice, equipment, and even agents as consultants to ensure accurate portrayal of the Bureau's work. This all began in the 1930s when the Bureau worked with Warner Brothers on a series of newsreels which was followed by more formal relationships with studios in the 40s and 50s. One of the most notable examples of this partnership was the television show The FBI, which ran from 1965 to 1974, with the Bureau having substantial influence over the script to ensure accuracy and a positive image. This collaboration continues to this day with a dedicated unit within the FBI that liaises with producers, writers, and directors. They provide everything from technical advice to script vetting and even location assistance to ensure that Hollywood's depiction of the FBI is as accurate as it can be. 
So next time you're watching a crime thriller or a cop drama, remember, the FBI's touch might be closer than you think, ensuring the badge flashes, chases, and takedowns are as realistic as possible. Number 10. And for our final surprising fact, did you know that the FBI has its own Hall of Honor? Yes, just like superheroes, the FBI honors its heroes too. This special place within the FBI headquarters in Washington, D.C. was established to remember and honor those agents who have made the ultimate sacrifice in the line of duty. The Hall of Honor is a solemn and reflective space, paying tribute to those agents who have given their lives while serving their country. Each agent's story is unique, reflecting bravery, dedication, and a commitment to justice. Their names are inscribed on a wall within the hall, ensuring their sacrifices are never forgotten. The Hall of Honor is a powerful reminder of the risks that these men and women face every day in the performance of their duties. It signifies the FBI's commitment to honoring its fallen agents and ensures that their heroic deeds continue to inspire future generations of FBI agents. And that concludes our journey into the lesser known facts about the FBI. From its unique capabilities to its significant contributions, the FBI truly is an organization like no other. This concludes our journey through 10 things you might not have known about the FBI. It's an institution with a rich history and a broad range of responsibilities, not just the dramatic pursuits we see on our screens, but at its core, it's about the people, the men and women who dedicate their lives to upholding justice and keeping the nation safe.